Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and welcome to another voice actor spotlight. And again, this time I'll present you with another internet ghost. I did a whole day of research on Richard Newman and found a few interviews, but mostly interviews about specific characters or the voiceover industry. Not much has been shared about this journey into becoming a voice actor, but let me show you what I did find. Born on November 2nd, 1946 in Chicago, Illinois, Richard is a theater actor first. In fact, he had been acting for over 20 years, and while doing some work in Florida, he was approached by a studio and asked if he'd be interested in doing some dubbing for them. He thought it was just something to do at the moment, but he fell in love with it. After that, he started auditioning and banged his head on that door for three years before he started getting roles. But it paid off and he left his mark on the industry and the hearts of fans. As I mentioned, he started his career in theater and kept doing it. During the 2011 season of Vancouver's Bard on the Beach Festival, he was acclaimed for his performance as Shylock in The Merchant of Venice and was nominated for a Jesse Award. His more recent work includes playing the title character in King Lear, produced by City Stage New West in 2012, and he was on the cast of Deuce, produced by New World Theatres, playing Tusca. On screen, his first credited role is the pawnbroker in Finders Keepers, and thus began a string of extra and guest starring roles for Richard. He played on shows such as Danger Bay, MacGyver, Wise Guy, The Trial of the Incredible Hulk, and the 20 season lasting show Deb Beachcombers. He also played on 21 Jump Street and The Girl from Mars, before landing his first recurring role of Dr. Rosenberg on Max Glake. You could have seen him on First Wave or Dead Man's Gun, but I remember him for his role of the medium Oliver Price in season 10 of my favorite show, Supernatural. He also played Dr. Rumanovich in X-Files and worked on the miniseries The Unspeakable. But for cartoons, he did more roles. In fact, he's credited for 260 roles across 125 titles on BehindTheVoiceActor.com. First and foremost, he's of course Rhinox from the Beast Wars Transformers show, and he delivered a remarkable performance. I feel like I got hit by a whole pred fleet. Richard also lent his voice to the Vok. Impossible. That nexus is closed. The experiment has been terminated. But before he got his iconic role of Rhinox, he started as Mr. Big on Power Team. He followed that with 4 roles on Dragon Warrior and 13 more on Funky Fables, including Captain Nemo. On Bucky O'Hare, he portrayed Wolf and Toadborg, reprising the latter for the video game. And on Conan the Adventurer, you heard him as Conan's grandfather. On Exo Squad, he played 10 characters, including General Phaethon. While on Ronin Warriors, you heard him as Kale. He voiced 30 characters on Sky Surfer Strike Force and played M. Bison on Street Fighters the Animated Series. On the world-renowned anime Dragon Ball Z, he was Oolong, Captain Ginyu, Porunga, King Furry, and Captain Chicken. And in Transformers Beast Machine, he finally reprised the voice of Rhinox for the surprise twist about Pancor. Open your eyes like mine finally are! Megatron is the only hope this planet has of achieving technological perfection! On Spider-Man Unlimited, he was the main antagonist, the High Evolutionary, and the classic J. Jonah Jameson. On 2000's Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, he portrayed 12 characters, including Chief Engineer Tubarov Bellman, or you could have heard him in X-Men Evolution as Omega Red. He was on the 2002 reboot of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, playing 6 characters, including Ratlord. And on Inuyasha, he voiced Totose, which he reprised for the Secret of the Cursed Mass video game and the movie Swords of an Honorable Ruler. He also did a lot of dubbing for shows and TV movies, including Project Arms, Meltal Answer the Animation, Trouble Chocolate, Mega Man NT Warrior, Galaxy Angel, and Human Crossing. On Transformers Cybertron, he voiced Vector Prime, and you could have heard him on Johnny Test as Professor Slobsink. Also, Richard worked on something I haven't come across before, motion comics. He worked for Marvel on one of those, Wolverine Weapon X, lending his voice to Slag. He's also part of the My Little Pony franchise, voicing Mr. Cranky Doodle and his donkey version in three iterations of the show. And all this is just a grain in the sand. He did so many more roles that I had to pick and choose, which is never an easy task. All I can add is that he believes that before you can do voice work, you should learn to use the whole instrument, referring to the human body. He strongly suggests that anyone wanting to do voiceover for a living starts with theater. 
To him, it's the best training ground you can ask for. You also advocate perseverance because you'll get rejected a whole lot more than you will be getting roles. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Richard Newman's career. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I really like reading you guys. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care! Oh,